we're going grocery shopping for the first time without a buddy to drive us around or our own car. So thank you, Chad, for all your help. And also check out this road he gave us. Yeah, I still have to wind it up, but I got a lot of road for hurricane season. Now let's see if we can do this on our own for the first time. Scary. Well, we're calling an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't walking that. We're actually using Lyft. No, this hasn't been the first time. We 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 were walking to save a lot at the. Yeah, but this is the first time for us doing a big provision without backpacks. Oh yeah, no Uber. <laughs> Uber. <laughs> yep. So this should be easier than backpacks. It's, it's like a two miles from here, so. She doesn't want to walk two miles. It's in this dead heat. Oh no. no. <laughs> no. I'll die. So let's get in the dinghy. One thing I can say, this little hank on engine has done this pretty well. It's not very fast, but it cranks every time. So let's see if I can even get started here with one hand. And my left hand is that. Oh, I gotta crank up the RPM. Here we go. Left hand started. Turn off the coat. Okay. Our dog is whining and Danielle has released us from our shackles. <laughs> now we'll be back. Look at that sugar scoop. That's how dirty this wire is. I gotta clean that. Our bottom of our boat like no, our bottom of our boat looks pretty damn good. Oh yeah. That looks good. No growth on it. We got us a uh, ride coming and a uh, lift, and it should be uh, fairly short. Lift is uh, actually not that expensive, a lot cheaper than owning a car. Yeah. There comes our ride. <laughs> We're in Thrifty now, and the prices here are great. If you're ever in Merritt Island, in here and get some great food at great prices. Oh, it's mock tender. Oh yeah, $17. That's that steak. Yeah, $5.99 a pound. Check out the higher price of that ground beef. Oh my gosh, $3.49 a pound. And then the price of this chicken, brunch red steaks, $1.39 a pound. Just awesome prices. A wide variety of all kinds of cool stuff. Gives Top Ramen a run for their money. All the different assortment of noodles. Yep, frozen food here is a little bit more spendy. Hand canned goods. My wife is getting her coffee. <laughs> Great fruit selection. A lot of tomatoes, and on the other side we have avocados. Yeah, get you some red jalapenos. They're the hottest. Okay, guys, we got all our groceries and thrift right back there. If you're in Merritt Island area, this is the place to check out. Get everything off the D. It's piled up right here. I gotta move this inside. After the grocery shopping trip, you have to figure out where it all goes. stacking. <laughs> Hoping you can find things. Oh, yeah. That's where I stick all the veggies because I don't want it to get, I don't know, cross light or something. Nope. You got 
something underneath the... And here is all the rest of them. There's a lot of meat here. Down there. And there's our hyperventilating dog. <laughs> yeah, we should just be fine. So my babe has all our meat packed up. What are you doing? My babe is uh, cooking Brussels sprouts. Cabbage. Small little cabbages. <laughs> they are freaking huge Brussels sprouts. Well, that's what we bought, and so that's what's happening. <laughs> I need to put some seasonings on them though. Mm -hmm. What flavor do you want? I don't know. Bosmic, Tex Mex. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I never should have looked in my hair. <laughs> Season them. <laughs> Throw them around. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're getting ready to leave Coco Village, head down to Dragon Point. And Finally. Yes. It's been two weeks of waiting. Parts and storms, and it's just been fun. So, got the snubber off, got everything cranked up. All we have to do is pull up anchor. My job. And uh, set, get the uh, navigation system up, and we're off. We gotta avoid grab pods, though. Yes, the crock pipes. <laughs> so that would be fun because uh, there was one guy dropping about 30 of them. He just went right, I, had to, I had to holler at him to say, hey, this is in our anchor swing. Don't go there. Yeah, we're going to run over it. <laughs> we swing all day long. <laughs> yes. So we're going to get going and uh, we'll take you all along with us. Okay, here we go. Let me see if I can get her. So, you shouldn't have to do much. You got crap in the anchor locker. <laughs> the barnacle growth our chain is just insane. Did you record any of that? Uh, no. It's so huh. our anchor got stuck on the bottom, finally got up. Which means we held really well. <laughs> we held very well. But the swivel was also bound. So, I'm going to look at that when we get. Uh, as we're going, but I got it unjammed. Took a lot of work, but we're off and running. A lot uh, of seaweed. A lot of seaweed. Pick off. A lot of barnacles. Barnacles on the chain, but... That's what happens when you stay put for a month. Yeah, it was too long. Yeah, we should have probably upped our chain and moved around a little bit. A little bit. At least around the anchorage or something. But Just kind of like wash that off or something. We're off and... Uh, should be there in about three, four hours. Ugh. 18 miles. Yeah, my so. heart's still pounding. That was <laughs> kind of, that was really nerve wracking. I thought we were stuck. Uh, I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh, we're not going nowhere. No, but we did. So we'll keep you informed. Here's the island. My babe went on her birthday. She really liked it. Let's drop anchor and go to the island. <laughs> It's a lot closer now. Yeah. See if I can zoom in on. Oh. There it is. So this app Argo seems to have pretty res good resolution. I wish the uh, numbers were right side up. And, uh, it shows our knots doing 4.6 knots. And our ETA is 2.44. So this is what we look like. And you can see the marker is clearly marked right there. And the depth is pretty on spot. It may look like we eat the same thing over and over again, but this is passage food. Yeah. 
Bruce? Yeah, crock pot mill while we're just burning diesel and generating power. Stuff goes to the fishies. Well, we're almost there. Hopefully, you can see it. But that bridge way over there, yeah, right there, is our destination. And that is Dragon Point, the end of Mary Island. So, we'll hopefully drop anchor soon and. Have a little uh, refreshments. I don't know if you can see it, but there's Dragon Point right there. It looks like some rocks. Let me get my finger out of the way, but it looks like some rocks right there. And that is Dragon Point, right where that bridge is. It's an illusion, but the bridge is separate. And I'm sitting backwards. Okay, my boots dropped an anchor. Couldn't find any spot in the anchorage, so we're on the other side. <coughs> Dog is going nuts. 